Hi, my name is Sister Arlene Kissel. I'm the director of the Martin DePore Center here in Columbus, Ohio. We're a ministry of the Dominican Sisters of Peace, and we focus on education, spirituality, and the arts. So today I'd like to introduce to you the two artists that we are currently exhibiting at the center. Both of them are Dominican Sisters of Peace, but that's where the similarity ends. Their styles are very different, and yet I think you'll find them very complementary. The name of this exhibit is Word Collages, Pencil Art, and Wood Carvings. Sister Bernadine Eggleston is one of our artists, and Sister Jan Schlichting is the other. Sister Bernadine works primarily in wood sculpturing, but for our display has given us some pieces that she has done with colored pencils. It's rather easy to say how much I love wood. So, um, but it was very difficult to find myself in drawing class in a graduate program because I never considered myself one who could draw. In, in taking walks, what I liked was the dry grass. In Texas, it was pretty well dried up, you know, when you came in August. At first, it had a looseness to it. It had, um, in the strokes, it had a looseness. And I put a lot of pencil in it. I guess I thought I had to emphasize the sway of it or something on that idea. But it also became a little more refined in the way I did it. And it also took little changes in swaying and wind and stuff like that. And this is the one that you can see in the show. It's a kind of a medium size um, drawing with a wood frame and it's totally yellow but it's yellow that introduces other colors but predominantly yellow white. But, you know, I could understand why I did it even more this fall when I looked out the window and the whole tree was yellow. And all around the ground with yellow leaves that were starting to fall from it. One thing that was pointed out to me was, do you notice how you divide everything? But I didn't, I didn't notice the divisions that I started putting into it. So the line drawing, lines that you saw before started becoming trees and taking on different other kinds of divisions. The same thing was happening in the sculptures. It was commented during, I, during the time I was in, in school, they kept saying, you're padding your show with drawings because I was specifically considered a sculptor. I didn't feel that way, because one seemed to lead to the other. But this one is uh, it's a weeping willow, and um, you don't realize it until you um, start chiseling each one of those leaves. I mean, they were endless. I thought I'd never finish Chiseling belief. It, I did finish on that. You also have this one with you. I simply love this long part coming up. And so I just enjoyed it as it was and kept chiseling. And that, that's the end result. Sister Jan has done her work in word collages, offering uh, vitality and color that just jumps out from, from her works. I'm Sister Jan Schlichting. I'm a Dominican Sister of Peace, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the collages that are hung in this show. My choice of collage as my medium has, has its roots in a lot of experiences. Uh, I always wanted to be an artist. 
I got to do art education as a young sister and loved it very much. But then somehow my life morphed into liturgy work and then into preaching. And so I became not only an artistic Dominican, but I became an artistic Dominican preacher, uh, so convinced of the power of the word. When I was an art student, and when I taught it also, I loved lettering. And collage came late. I, I moved into collage just a few years ago uh, out of a need to find a new mode of expression, perhaps even a new mode of preaching for myself, because I had to slow my life down a little bit. The diptych I have here, uh, one of my very favorite pieces, uh, came about when I challenged myself to create a background in kind of muted colors that that would be the basis for my two quotes. Uh, from Paul, there is no chaining the word of God, and uh, then my own complementary, there is no taming the spirit of God. Uh, these were fun and kind of wild. Um, I did a lot of daring things for me in them. Um, I, I put, I put some netting and some chains and some foil and flowers and dancing Indian women. These pieces never go as planned. I start them with something in mind and they develop lives of their own. This is a collage that I did about Mary's meeting with Jesus after the resurrection in the garden. This is one of those that took forever to do and that I changed my mind about about 16 times and found both um, some real absorption in it and some prayer and uh, a doggedness in myself to just keep going until it looked like I wanted it to look. I wanted to use the words of the story, but I knew that we knew the story so that I could suggest and I could put in the words I thought were important or the words that I thought would be, um, would be recognizable from the story. And the other challenge that I gave myself was to use all flowers and all garden things as the background and the building up pieces of the collage. For me, this is Easter. And for me, this is a preaching of what being human means and what being loved means and what being a herald of the good news means. Here I'm standing before exhibit number one. This was my first piece, as much a surprise more of a surprise probably than any of the ones afterwards. I didn't know where I was going, but I knew that I wanted to have letters, lots of letters. And I wanted to have pieces that looked like they were fabric from quilts. And the multiplication of the letters was a surprise. And uh, every piece that I put down was was just an experiment in uh, what what might happen with this. And when it came out, it was truly a, a gift to me. And probably the thing that convinced me to keep going in this kind of mode, because I realized that I was preaching the gospel by doing art. And very happy to know that my self-identity as preacher was coming through in these rewordings that I've done. Again, this exhibit will be at the Martin DePore Center in Columbus, Ohio until March 24th. We hope to see you here. Thank you.